I'm going to show you how to turn on multi-line font, which enables you to show several lines of calculation on the ClassWiz at one time. Now, in order to operate multi-line font, you need to be in line mode or line display. So the first thing to do if you're not already in that is to set that up. So it's shift setup and one for input output. And then you can either choose three or four depending on the sort of result that you want. And we're primarily talking about fractions, really here whether you want the fractions displayed uh, on one line or whether you want a decimal result when you press equals. I'm going to go for three so that I get the fraction result, but it will be on one line. So once you've selected that option, if you want to turn on multi-line font, again, we need to go into the setup menu, so shift and setup, and then scroll all the way down. And on the very last page here, it's option one, multi-line font. And we've got two options here. I'm going to look at them both. First of all, we're going to go for normal font. So that's a normal sized font. And if you input calculations now, you can see that the actual answer isn't displayed in the bottom right hand corner. It's slightly higher than in the regular mode. Then if I do a second calculation, well, I can still see my first calculation there as well. If I do a third one is how the screen will just scroll down and I'll have a continuous page of calculations that I can then go back and take a look at. So it's quite useful if you've got a series of simple, very rapid calculations that you need to make. And as you can see, the fractions are displayed on a single line. You've got the backward L shape for the vinculum of the fraction. If we input a square root, well, that will just give you a decimal approximation when you press equals there in line mode. So if you remember, there was two options back in multi-line font. There was also the option for a small font, so I'm going to go back and select that. So it's shift setup down to multi-line font, and this time two for small font. And you can see that the size of the font has significantly reduced uh, down. And the advantage of that is, of course, you can fit more on the screen at one time. But the obvious disadvantage being that it is a much smaller font to have to look at there. Uh, but it operates in the same way. You can put in a series of calculations and see more on screen and it will just scroll down if you've got further calculations to complete. Of course, if you did want to cancel this mode, probably the most straightforward way is just to go through the reset procedure, shift reset three equals AC. Or if you go back into setup and switch on input output option one, math input output, that will automatically take you out of multi-line font as well as setting up uh, the math display as well. So there we go, how can you use multi-line font? Probably useful for if you've got a series of relatively simple calculations to do.